stuck into it then because yeah. we've got some pretty interesting games to get underway. Ironically, the first New Zealand game now with Moana Pacifica versus the Blues being postponed is the Chiefs taking on the Highlanders, but it won't be under the roof at Forsyth Bar. We'll be in the uh, picturesque surrounds of Wakatipu Rugby Club in downtown Queenstown. Um, probably a bit disappointed you're not going to get to pick up the extra home game playing the Chiefs under the roof that would have been perfect for the Highlanders first yeah, up would have would have been a very nice start um and of all the days it's supposed to rain on Saturday yeah. too in Queenstown it's mint uh every day around <laughs> Saturday but it's supposed to bucket down so look I think traditionally you'd say it's probably uh advantage Highlanders but given they've been playing uh, under the roof for the last four five six years you'd have to tip the way of the Chiefs in this um, situation. Yeah, especially with that pack the Chiefs could potentially roll out. I don't know exactly yeah. the state of all their All Blacks in this 40-60-80 protocol or whatever it is they're mm. going through, but yeah, the Chiefs do look like they're going to have a pretty monstrous pack. We've all been pretty high on what they can do up front. Um, I'd have to say, if, if we're going to talk up the Highlanders, which I am going to a lot this season, I think. Been a bit of a bogey team for the team for the Chiefs the last few years. I think I've got it down here. Was it five of the last six games between these two sides have either been a draw or decided by three points or less? There was obviously the yeah. um, Bryn Gatlin drop goal game under the roof to kick off Super Rugby Altera a couple of years ago. That yeah. massive comeback in Hamilton a few weeks later. Was it a uh, golden point game under the roof last year? So, yep. yeah. And then uh, the, the one outlier, the Jonah Nariki oh, show yeah. uh, mm. last year when the Highlanders absolutely blew him apart. Mm. Yeah, um, unfortunately, actually, no Jonah this week. No. He's out with the ACL, but very excited and haven't got a Highlanders team at time of recording. A couple of um, Fijian wingers from the Chiefs catchment region, actually, Mosesi Dawai, who was tearing things up for Waikato, and uh, Tikoi Solomone, who's followed that Waisaki in a hollow path of yep. Wanganui to Taranaki down to the Highlanders. Hopefully, we'll get one of them run out on the wing and can maybe repeat that sort of feat. What Thank are your sort of early expectations for this game uh i think i, th I don't think there'd be a lot of a lot of points mm -hmm. uh as if there would have been under the roof um i think anything obviously down there we've seen can quite easily be 36 35 uh or even more um being the first game of the season i think this will be quite tight um and could blow out either way in the last yeah. 10 minutes I'm really excited by the the Highlanders backline. Um, I just don't know how you can fit all of that excitement into uh, all those positions. There's a mm, lot. Yeah. There seems like a lot of depth there, which is something they probably haven't had uh, in the past, mm. or a lot of quality quality depth. So uh, interested there to see to see how they go there. As you say, the Chiefs up front look pretty scary. Um, That's probably another positive though for the Highlanders, right? They ironically having less all blacks might come actually help them here because you're gonna have less guys who are on minutes restrictions probably got a full yeah. preseason under your belts and if it does become a bit of a battle of attrition and maybe some boggy conditions not quite sure what the ground mm. rating is at Wakatipu, but it's probably not the most pristine turf these guys are going to yeah. have played on so you know yeah. some heavy leagues might and the way the highlanders like to play at pace they're used to playing under the roof that could could help yeah. them out in the last 20 if it does yeah definitely yeah. um I dare say that ground will be very hard underfoot, mm -hmm. but very slippery on top. Yeah. Um, but you're right in saying the the Highlanders with no not not a lot of All Blacks, mm. uh, they would have they'll potential to flourish here because I know, uh, I believe a majority of this sort of projected starting team or squad has played both of their um, preseason games, which has got to so be a huge help. At least the, yeah. they know they've had mm -hmm. some minutes under their belt. Um, Whereas the Chiefs, I don't know how many of the top dogs have been playing. Yeah. Um, they obviously had that big hit out against Moana Pacifica, and there was none of them. And none, the, no, 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 it was no a second Kane, string no team, wasn't Italic, it? Yeah, they played mm. a game of two halves last week. Mm. I think only a couple of them played. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, as you say, the Landers have had the wood on them here, yeah. Uh, mm. And the the stats don't lie with how close these games have been. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're you know, here next week talking about a three-point thriller. Yeah, a four-and-a-half-point start, which is what the bookies have got at the moment, is a very key number mm. given the, yeah, the history between these two teams. Were you surprised to see the Highlanders open up, you know, reasonable underdogs, 255 head-to-head, -head. expecting that to be a bit closer? Yeah, look, I just 
it's well documented that I'm a Highlanders fan <laughs> on this podcast yeah. and others. Um, but I do think that they don't probably get the respect mm. they deserve. Mm. Um, I think they're open, they fifteen dollars to win the comp. Still are if anyone I out there think is interested. That's, that seems mm. like a lot. Um, yeah, I would have I would have had this game a little bit closer, um, especially given the history. I can see the, you know, the the team. You probably lean a little bit towards the the Chiefs with the number of All Blacks they've got. But yeah, I, I would have definitely had a little closer than this. But I'm hey, I'm happy to take the two fifty five. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. We'll get into official betting in a second. But just sort of a couple of key names or other key names I want to touch on. Sort of talked about maybe some All Blacks being a bit underdone for the Chiefs not coming in. But another positive for the Highlanders, Aaron Smith. He's yeah. had a full preseason under his belt for probably the first time in about ten years. Yeah. Obviously, he did end up playing that one test for the All Blacks in Paris at the end of last season. But he's uh yeah it sounds like he's been in amongst the boys all preseason. and i was listening to joey wheeler on ecnz the other day and he said yeah it's for lazy he's all guns blazing ready to go so yeah. and um for la Fakatava as well uh, he definitely took part in the preseason game against the crusaders so that's great for everyone to see him back on the park after that acl last season yeah um yeah if there's anyone you want to have sort of marshalling the troops around early in the season it's got to be got to be nugget right yeah it'll be interesting to see how they play those two mm. um before Fakatava got injured last year, he was sort of pushing pretty hard for a starting spot and, and got it for a couple of games there. Um, obviously, Aaron Smith's the best halfback in the world, so you're not not going to play him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Fakatava's a pretty, uh, pretty handy backup. Yeah. It'd almost be, I was thinking maybe in some games, you, you start for Lau and then you can bring Aaron off the bench mm. maybe even at half time because, you know, in these close games, which a lot of the New Zealand derbies are probably going to be, yeah. like they're both great players, obviously, but you'd probably rather have Aaron, the one calling the shot this entire the game. Whereas, like, if it is close, you in a game against the Highlanders, the Blues, it's three points in it. Are you really going to want to bring him off with 15 to play, even yeah. if you do have like another. But yeah, like it, it's a very good problem to have. As uh, oh, yeah. after watching the Hurricanes last season, I you know do a lot to have two halfbacks who both attended high school in the Hurricanes catchment region like that playing for us. But yeah. I won't get into that too much just yet, and not in the Hurricane segment. But I think I've buried the lead here because the other big story is obviously Josh Iwani, yes. former Highlanders uh, star, who's headed north, reunited with Clayton McMillan at the Chiefs. Are you expecting a bit of a revenge game here from Josh? Pre- presuming he gets the ten jersey. Yeah, you'd have to think he gets the 10 jerseys. Mm-hmm. probably their marquee signing of the... That's why he went up there, I presume, right? Yeah. He was playing 15 and 12 and all over the place. Yeah. Um, he's, you know, he's an all-black, mm-hmm. an all-black Māori. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I expect him to send him in number 10. Uh, do I expect a revenge game? I don't know. You know, these Highlanders boys know, know Josh pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they might get into a little bit of niggle mm-hmm. and... Um, it'd be interesting. I'm, I'm interested to see how he how he goes. I get having Brad Weber there, huge help, uh, almost Sorry. like for like with Aaron Smith. So, but hasn't played a lot of ten in Super Rugby in recent times. Mm. Um, obviously had a, a big year for Otago um, down there. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm probably. I think it might be a situation where the Chiefs as a whole, not just Josh, we see their best. In a few weeks, mm. I do think they've got a few moving parts. Obviously, Guzzler's missed two Super Rugby seasons in a row now, so he'll be uh, getting back into. He's played for the All Blacks last year, but getting back into that week to week grind of Super Rugby, especially against the New Zealand teams. Mm. It was still the old competition where you had these games against the the Sun Wolves and the Australian teams, and everyone yeah. mixed in. Last time he was playing, so yeah, I think just their pack, given it's so All Black heavy, you've got what, three All Black locks there. They'll be good, but they might take a little bit of time to get fully wound up and also I think they know especially after last season where they did make the Super Rugby Aotearoa final their goal is in June and July or whenever the final is like they're not they're obviously you want to be winning games early on but they're worried about winning the games at the pointy end of the season yeah I think yeah, especially when it comes to this particular game the Highlanders they have that great system set up that's been there since Jamie Joseph I, I've touched on this in the team preview but they can, hit, I think they'd better set up to hit the ground running. Mm. Yeah, le- less sort of coming and going uh, during preseason, more more of a settled outfit. So I think yeah, they're they're pretty pretty well set to really hit the ground running and yeah, put Josh under a lot of pressure. They do play a very aggressive and you face style of defense, which maybe isn't the best suited. I think Josh he likes to have that time mm. in the pocket to sort of read the game. That's where he makes his best runs, where he can yeah. sort of get going side to side and pick out a few hot. You get 
guys shooting up out of the defensive line and that, that's where he's deadly so i don't know the highlanders are just too defensively sound and they, they know his game they've trained against him for yeah. the last five or six years so yeah maybe, maybe not one not expecting a huge game from josh particularly but um are there any other potential x, x factors you've got circled guys you think could decide this game on either side uh yeah so for the highlanders i had um i'm really keen on connor garden bishop and sam gilbert yeah. this year um looks like sam gilbert's going to get that 15 jersey um and he showed at the back end of last year that what he can do i think they've been missing um that ben smith type mm-hmm. player since ben smith left and and he seems to be the closest thing we've got so far um and connor Gata bishop he was electric he was uh, close to man of the match in that win at christ in christchurch during yeah. superb he was awesome yeah. yeah before he got injured he was mm. unreal so pre-season under his belt keen to see what he can do um and then for the chiefs actually i had i don't know if he will get the start i assume he will but chase tear tear i assume mm. he'll get the 15 yeah. jersey with damian mckenzie gone um so not only this game but just uh for the season really keen to see how he goes he's another one who we've seen his best and it's pretty good yeah. um we've, we've also know, seen some not so good moments yeah, yeah but i wonder now that you know mckenzie's not there he's not thinking about that in the back of his mind it's it's probably his jersey to own if he wants it yeah um so yes he's yeah. got that history with Clyde mcmillan from bay of plenty he actually moved yeah. up to bay of plenty from wellington to play for Clayton there so mcmillan yeah. obviously rates him and is i think yeah he'll get first shot there another name maybe to keep an eye on for the chiefs back three picture which i think is the sort of the big question mark about this chiefs team who'd be there giving a big nudge to gideon rampling on snz oh, yeah. um i think he's a new zealand under 20s representative been tearing it up in the age grades so someone maybe not straight away this season but we could see force his way into one of mm-hmm. the, those, those wing positions for the chiefs where they might be a little bit weaker especially compared to the rest of the back line where you're going to have yuani weber all black midfield obviously and leonard brown and um yeah quinta Pius. so yeah keep interested to see who the chiefs do pick in those wings but i think uh for me the x factor i'm looking for peter gusto cooler in the forwards yeah. if he's he's a guy who was obviously great for taranaki last season as the entire team was they they were just dominant and i think especially with maybe a few of the all blacks being eased back in he's such a strong ball carrier if the chiefs are maybe getting it handed to them a little, little bit up front more than they'd expect he's someone who can really change the stem of the game and he was a he was a really strong 80 minute player for taranaki and the npc which maybe we haven't seen from at super rugby he, he can sort of Cut slide in and out of games, but if he can be that sort of driving force for the Chiefs pack, I think that'll go a long way to sort of giving them the dominance up front that they're they're going to expect this season. But yeah, I think the Highlanders backline pretty much you could pick anyone out of about five yeah. or six guys like Connor Garden Bashup, someone I'm super high on coming into the season. The two Fijian wingers I already touched on, not quite sure. I think only one of them will probably start this game, but yeah, either of the two could could be huge. Um Another one Joey Wheeler was going a big up to was Fatuli Pyre, who missed a lot of last season with injury, but yep. um, he's clearly got that. He was uh, getting some Malachi Fikitoa type buzz. So, yeah, Ooh. could be, um, <laughs> could be, if like things do click for this Highlanders back line, the, 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 oh, yeah. it's not like they're completely like there's no sort of clear all black names outside of the halfback position, but they could be like a legitimate, like, yeah. Uh, maybe up there with the Crusaders in terms of, like the quality in the back line if you know two or three of the guys really fine and then like we haven't even touched on Villamone Karoy who has been a bit mercurial at super rugby yeah. level but in terms of ability he's got as much as pretty exactly. much anyone yeah. going around there he's sort of like for like mm. for Nariki missing him mm. yeah. um, and another guy we haven't touched on is Solomon Alamalo yeah um, absolutely who <laughs> was he can get a but, get a chance yeah no there's there's plenty of options there so you only I mean, need a few i think he, he was brought down to play fullback mm. to fill that ben smith role so it will be interesting yeah, i wonder if he gets the nod yeah no the uh, fullback competition is there's plenty of options there for them so mm. you, you've got to be hoping as a homeless fan that at least one of the someone can claim that jersey or you do have a good cast of characters you can rotate it in and out yeah. during this tough early part of the season but um when, when i was looking at the uh just a little funny here but i was looking at the chiefs team on the chiefs website yesterday and uh came across the halfback cortez retima mm-hmm. um and i clicked on his profile and do you want to have a guess at how old uh cortez is based on his profile <laughs> so now that you've checked in the based on his profile because i know he's not he's pretty hard so i was going to say 20. 52. Oh, okay yeah no good so, mm. yeah good uh good luck to you cortez if you're uh going uh 
doing well to be still going around at Super Rugby at that age. He was another yes. one as well. Beaver's pretty high, and I know, so he's probably starting yeah. the season third string in the picking order. But yeah, yeah, could could uh, especially Brad probably they want to give him a few weeks off here and there mm. with looking towards finals. So first of the first nineteen seventy. Oh, what a year nineteen seventy was. Tough sense. <laughs> Um, we won't dive too um, deeply into betting before we preview the other games because we'll cut, circle back into a full best bet segment at the end. But I, yep. I take it you're you're sort of leaning the same way as I am towards the underdogs in this one. Yep. Yeah. 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 Cool. So um, more on that later.